What's going on YouTube? The Affliction Builder here back with you. I wanted to make a short video on this. This is uh, the Diamondback 380 that I purchased and I took it to the range and I wasn't too happy with it at all. Uh, that being said, um, this is a DB380. It's a nice compact stainless slide uh, made in Cocoa, Florida. And I took it out to the range. I uh, was using some Winchester wide cutter type flat bullet ammo, if you will. And uh, I was shooting it, or you know, at the range, and uh, thing kept having failures to feed. So I was like, shit, you know, I just bought this gun. It's small, it's adequate, you know, and I could shoot the steel with it fairly uh pretty accurate but i said why the hell is the thing jamming all the time and i got on the uh the internet i researched it a little bit and uh you know the thing you gotta reset the trigger breaks down pretty good and a lot of people were saying that uh you know they need to polish the barrel up you know the the ramp I seen nothing fancy Yoda he was doing a polishing job I don't know if you could see this on this ramp area you know but when I looked at it, you see how shiny it is it wasn't that bad off I mean they did a pretty good job there's not too much of a lip here but for the most part when I saw it I was like shit you know it's really not too bad so I kind of polish it up a little bit and uh, put it I put it back together again. And uh, I said, well, hell, what's, what's causing this thing to, uh, to misfeed? And I was able to go online, and a couple guys have already put a video out, which you could research it. I just wanted to bring it to the forefront as well, um, is that it doesn't get hooked up on the, uh, the ramp as it does the firing pin. And basically, if you read the manual on this, Failure to Feed, Diamondback even says in their manual, what it is is that there's a firing pin, you know, it's hard to see in this, in this, in this breech face. And there's a spring loaded, and there's a plunger here. And when you basically rack it back like this, the plunger goes down, and it's able to reset this trigger. Well, the anomaly, the problem happens is when you... When you rack it and you dry fire it, I just dry fired it on an empty cylinder. Now when you put in the round and you pull it back, you'll see that one's actually working pretty good. Let me see here. But I got to show you guys. Um, you'll typically get a failure to feed. Dry fire, put it in here. And you see how that happens? You get a failure to feed. And what happens is that that's because if you dry fire it, the pin sticks out of the breech. So when the bullet comes up, it, it, it can't fully go into the chamber because it's cocked, you know, like, like this. It's like this. And so the pin is right above it and it can't, it doesn't have the right angle to go into the and load into the chamber. And so the way that the guy in the video or the the way to remedy this is that when you if you have to put a mag in, put your slide back, it resets the firing pin. Then when you put your mag in and you and you load in the chamber, it accepts it. And then as long as you fire with a bullet casing and you go and go and go, it'll continue to run. But if you shoot the last round, okay, you shoot the last round and you dry fire it again. And then I'm just going to show you again. Here's a round, one round. It's, I pulled the trigger on an empty round. I'm going to insert the mag and now I'm going to pull it back. That that one worked. Sometimes the, it's an anomaly. That time it worked again. So let me see if I could get it to do it again. 
but it's kind of a pain. I mean, once in a while it will go in, but okay. Here it is again. I reset the okay. Boom. Fire pin sticking out. Insert a mag. That one's working, so we do it again. Pull the pin, put in a mag. That's yeah, working pretty good, but in any event, that is what causes the failure to feed is that is that damn firing pin sticks out from the breech and go ahead and pull the trigger again. That one worked. Pull the trigger again. That's working. That's what. Sorry.